I'm winning the Impact World Championship at Slammiversary. Slammiversary, Saturday, July 15th, on pay-per-view. Oh, well, could there be some fissures starting to form in the landscape of the design? Except for our first action of the night here in Columbus, Ohio, we know for sure there are fissures between these two opponents. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall, introducing first. He represents Moose Nation. He is Moose. Moose, who this past week ended against all odds, took part in the 8 for one match, a rather unconventional first time ever matchup. In that match, Moose was teaming with his opponent this evening, Red Swan. The infighting amongst these two ultimately cost them so that they could not advance within the 8 for one match. That is what has led to this one on one bout between two men who are once friends and tag team partners, but shocker, Moose betrayed Swan years ago. This is a explosive situation, and finally these guys will get the chance to settle it here in the impact zone. His opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, Rich Swan. Set for more fallout here from the 8-4-1 match at Against All Odds. However, this coming Saturday night here on Access TV, we present the hit new series, Bandit, the music competition. It's coming down to the wire as the performances heat up. Tune in here on Access TV this Saturday night at 9 Eastern, 8 Central to see what it takes to be in a band. Rich Swan here. Ready to rock out in style. You see they're also representing OVE here in Ohio. We know the tight bond between Swan and Callahan, but right now he's got to have his eyes laser focused on the man that cost him and their team the 8-4-1 opportunity and against all odds. As we saw before the commercial break, all the combustible elements in play, they are going to clash in our main event that is still to come. The match made official by Santino Morella, an all-star five-on-five tag team matchup, many of the players of which are gonna battle at Slam Reversary. That huge main event is still to come. Also, we understand in the wake of the aforementioned 8 4 1 match, Bully Ray will be in the impact zone here because we understand Bully Ray has filed an official complaint with Anthem Sports and Entertainment following Impact President Scott Demore's actions at Against All Odds. And also this evening, the Impact World Tag Team Champions, the EBC, back in action against Decay. Right now, Swan looking to take it to the much larger Moose oh, here. Moose still standing. Good start, yeah. But the wrestling god managing to stand on his feet. Swan's going to have to bob and weave. Wow, Moose charges over the top. Two former Impact World Champions doing battle here. Yeah, these two absolutely oh. no strangers to one another. Continuing in their lineup of pretty incredible matches, but they were supposed to be tag team partners, at least for the start of that 8-4-1 match. Oh. And it all went south. Well, we knew in last week's main event that that was probably not going to go swimmingly at against all odds. Oh, and now off the top. Swan's oh, in deep out. water. The strength uh -oh. of Moose. Oh. oh, but look at Moose holding on. Not letting go the tenacity of the wrestling god. Oh, now. Oh, Moose using the barricade. Oh, now Moose smashing Swan into the barricade. And it seems like he's enjoying himself oh! here. Oh! Moose launching Swan into the ropes. Two former friends, now better rivals. This has gotten nasty in a heartbeat. Can Swan get back in it against Moose? Oh, and Moose bliss.
blistering the chest of Rick Swan as this matchup continues. The wrestling god has pulverized Swan for throughout the commercial break. Our first action of the night, and don't forget, still to come, the Elsar 5 on 5 tag team matchup where we'll get to see Slammiversary opponents team up, especially Aldis and Shelley. That's right, and let's oh. not forget, we have already learned that in Australia, Steve Macklin will get his rematch. Shoulders down for a moment. His rematch for the Impact World title. Whoa! Oh, and down goes Moose. Battle of two for Impact World Champions Ooh. right here, and Moose with a standing Uranagi. Into a cover, hook to the leg here, and a kick out. And to your point, it was announced in recent days that as part of Impact Wrestling's Australian Down Under Tour on Friday, June 30th, live at 5 a.m. Eastern on Fight TV and, of course, available on Video On Demand. Steve Macklin will be getting his contractual rematch for the Impact World title against Alex Shelley. That's part of two nights of live events, Friday, June 30th, and Saturday, July 1st in Blaga, Australia. And Tom, can you imagine if Macklin is successful in regaining his Impact World title? That throws Slammiversary into total disarray. Yeah, imagine what Nick Aldis would think of that, the official number one contender to the Impact World Championship by virtue of winning the 8-4-1 match at Against All Odds, which is why oh, all Moose and Swan are dismantling each other right now. And there's so much as we head out on the road here to Slammiversary. It all kicked off at Against All Odds. Still a lot of fallout to be felt. And Moose is taking his time here on the outside of the ring. The official trying to get the action back inside the ropes. But Moose is really taking his time here with Swan. I talked about the familiarity between these two. Cycle back to Hard to Kill 2021. Swan at that point. Oh! Was the Impact World Champion. He and Moose teamed up against Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. And it was immediately after a loss that Moose turned on Swan and challenged him for the world title. Going back to what I said earlier, these two no strangers to one another. And now Swan, that well-timed duck, damaging the hand of Moose as he hit that steel post. And now Swan sees that, taking advantage. But how much damage has been done to the wrist and hand of Moose? And knee right to the gut there to slow down Swan, but Moose, as you mentioned, favoring that right hand. So much of his offense, he loves to throw around smaller opponents. Uh oh, shoulder Ooh. first into the middle turnbuckle. We're gonna maybe set up that spear, put Swan away, that spear that caught oh. so much disarray and against all odds. Oh! Kick to the head. Oh, and another one in Swan. Starting to rally. DDT and down goes Moose. Absolutely plants the wrestling god does Swan. And this is a huge opening for Rich. Make an impact on your performance and well-being with the best-selling test booster, Test X9 from Legacy Sports Nutrition. Go to LegacySubs.com and use the code IMPACT for 20% off and level up with Legacy. Now Swan is going to the top turnbuckle. Moose trying to slow his ascent. Grabbing at his feet, trying to stop Swan from going to the top rope here. Oh! Big chop from Moose, who tries to regain control on the top rope here. Now Moose, Moose grabbing control of Rich Swan. And look at that, the height of Moose. This is gonna be a long way to fall for Swan if Moose gets this, but it looks like Swan managing to fight off the wrestling god. Down goes Moose. Swan creating a little bit of space. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Moose is back up. Moose is back up. Spoke too soon. Look at that superplex. Freakish athleticism from Moose. Both men are down. Who's going to gain the advantage? Swan versus Moose continues here on Access TV. And we are back here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Rich Swan trying to find a way back against Moose. And look at Swan go. Never backs down. Ooh. Trying to chop down Moose down to a knee. Swan's got to work hard in this one. He wait, knows wait, wait, it. Wait. He's got Moose down. Got the big man down and a kick out by Moose. That was close from Swan there. But could he be shut down? Wait, look at here. Another roll. Shoulders up. down. Swan nearly had him. And again. Oh, shoulders down, shoulders down, and a kick out. Almost a crucifix oh, there. Oh! Beautiful pump kick. 
And look out! Oh! Oh, with a cutter! Picture perfect timing from Rich Swan. Moose stands back up and in with another cutter by Swan. Swan pouring it on. Two for one there. Can this get it done? Cutter hooked to the leg and oh. a kick out. Look at this one more time. First moves off the top turnbuckle and driven down with the cutter there by Swan. And then somehow Moose was back up to his feet moments later, just kept on moving forward. But Swan put him down again with another cutter. But here's the thing, Tom, that was the biggest salvo that Swan has been able to fire off in this one. And it still wasn't enough to put Moose away. What's it gonna take? And now Swan is going up top. Swan to go. Maybe thinking 450 there. Oh, and a discus clothesline. Moose back up to his feet. Thinking about a power Ooh, bomb. He Stand, got it. Standing power bomb up to the leg. Swan gets the right shoulder up in time. Just barely, though. Moose cannot believe it. But there wasn't a whole lot of life left in that kick out, if you ask me, Hannafin. I don't know how much la is left in Rich Swan. Swan is down, and Moose now in the, the face of the official. He's insisted that that was a three count. Cannot believe that Swan would kick out. And now the wrestling god looking to line up Swan. Who'll be looking for a repeat from what happened at Against All Odds here. Moose lining up for the spear. Swan is in trouble, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, Moose charges in now with Swan into the cover, shoulders down. Swan pin Moose. Here's your winner, Reed Swan. By the skin of his teeth, Tom. Swan found a way to endure and move forward here at Impact Wrestling. What a match between Swan and Moose. But right now, we turn our attention to earlier tonight on BTI. Tag team action is Laredo Kid and Jack Price battled Shira and Champagne Singh.